This video will cover the topic, using the remainder theorem to evaluate a polynomial. Let's take a look at an example problem to get a better understanding of this topic. We are asked to use the remainder theorem to find p of negative 2 for p of x equals negative x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9. Specifically, we are asked to give the quotient and the remainder for the associated division and the value of p of negative 2. What is the remainder theorem? Good question. The remainder theorem states, if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is p of c. How does this apply to our problem? If p of x equals negative x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9 is divided by x minus negative 2, then the remainder is p of negative 2. We will now do the division. First, we will rewrite p of x equals negative x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9 as p of x equals negative x cubed minus 3x squared plus 0x minus 9. Next, we will write each of these coefficients underneath the division symbol. Given the divisor in the form x minus r, we will write r outside of the division symbol. Now we'll take the leading coefficient all the way down to the bottom, multiply it by r, and place the resulting product underneath the second coefficient like so. We'll then add this column together and multiply the result by r, repeating these steps until the entire row is filled out. What does this final row of numbers mean? The final number in the row is the remainder, and the rest of the numbers in the row are the coefficients in descending order of a polynomial whose degree is one less than the dividend. This means that our quotient is negative x squared minus x plus 2, and the remainder p of negative 2 equals negative 13. And this is our final answer. Okay, I think I understand how to solve these types of problems. First, we identify what the divisor of our problem will be using the information provided. In this problem, it was x minus negative 2. Then using synthetic division, we divided our dividend, p of x, by the divisor, x minus negative 2, to find our quotient, negative x squared minus x plus 2, and the remainder of the problem, negative 13. Excellent work! 